The taste test for Jayco's savory donuts has begun. Yeah, let's try this. Uh, this is um, cheese me up. Cheese me up. Yeah, our very first savory mm. offering. Okay, let's try. It. What do you think? Cheese on donut seems to work quite all right. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, were there any problems with formulating the right taste combination between salty, savory, and sweet? Because the dough is obviously sweet. Mm. Um, yes, actually, our R and D took about two months or so to perfect the recipe, and they took even longer to to develop these two. This savory donut, cheese me up, could do with a bit more topping. And its slightly blander taste puts it at three licks out of five on a licklicious meter. Give this a try. So the only difference is that this has got a uh, garlic flavored and crispy cheese mm. on top. Let's take a bite of this one. So it's like having a, a sandwich of sorts. Yeah, it's almost it's quite a meal, huh? Yeah, it's quite a meal. It. Definitely, it's good for breakfast. I mean, I, I think very few people. With light sweet donuts for breakfast, so our savory offerings are very good for breakfast with cup coffee. Mm. This one, the garlic, garlic taste is quite strong. It's quite aromatic. Uh, it's a bit, it's a bit different. Yeah. With the garlic giving the Da Vinci a more layered and full-bodied taste, this gets four licks out of five on a licklicious meter. Is there a reason why you're so uh, sparing with the topping? Because I can't, like with the topping, you can't. See that it's as thick as probably this one. But because we do not want it to be so overpowering. Yeah, we want it to be. Uh, we want customers to be able to finish the whole donut. Without feeling sick. Correct, because it's cheap. it can be a bit too cheesy. So, so yeah, this is our recipe. And next, this savory donut is called Mona Pizza. Go figure. Well, let's give this a try as well. I think it's the first time we have seen you know real meat on a pizza. This is real meat. It, it, it looks. It looks rather. Like a pizza itself. Yeah. You look at the, the whole presentation of it. Well, only one way to find out if it tastes like a pizza. I must say I'm not quite used to the, the soft donut with the, with, the, with the cheese and the savory thing. I've yet to get used to the soft and sweet dough of the donut. And this Mona pizza does not taste exactly like the real thing, but for its interesting flavor, this donut gets three and a half licks out of five on a licklicious meter. So, how did you guys, you know, go about making sure that the taste is just nice? Um, well, our R and D goes to extensive research, many, 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 many trials, and they come up with uh, standard recipes because, as you know, our R and D is actually based in Indonesia. So the recipes need to be formulated in a way where uh, it can be easily used for all markets. The dough of your donut remains the same, it's just that the topping changes. Mm. So are there any challenges in that respect? Because uh, um, would uh, J. Cole be willing to maybe even tweak the, the dough in order to suit the toppings? Mm. No, I think because we are famous for our soft dough mm. and it's not easy to get dough this soft and our dough remains soft even after you left the donuts outside for a while. Yeah, so, so uh, I don't believe we will. For those who like your donuts very soft and sweet, well, this might do it for you. I like my savory foods with slightly more bite. And if you're looking for a bit of a savory adventure, well, try these. Right, so we've tasted some savory donuts. So what's up next today? Well, you'll never guess. It's savory ice cream. Yep, savory ice cream. So you don't really want to miss the next clip.